All right, everyone, welcome back to a training mission here on Door Kickers 2. This is a custom made map. I and mean, I wanted to go over some room clearing techniques. Um, so this, what I'd like to talk about today is parallel clearing. Um, so when you find yourself in a larger structure that's got long, long hallways that sort of go next to each other, I want to talk about um, some techniques and procedures for clearing that type of building. So we have this here. Um, we've obviously got our element out here. We're going to make entry through this door here and press up. Uh, then we're obviously going to have to take this room. But then we're going to start to move down this hallway in this direction. So this is going to be where our main our main train is focused, right? So we've got 10, 10 people out here to clear the building. Uh, but... As soon as we start dumping bodies into these rooms, um, you know, say we send two guys in here, they clear this room, now they want to come into here. They're going to clear out this room. Now they want to continue going and clear out this hallway, and then they find another room. So they want to start clearing this room also. The problem is, we've also got this whole train of dudes going this direction. So once we drop some bodies in here, the main train is going to continue moving, and they're going to drop some bodies in here. And then the main train is going to continue to keep moving and they're going to drop some bodies in here. So the problem arises when the dudes who got dropped in here, they clear it out. They come to the next one, they clear it out. And now they're moving this way. Meanwhile, we've also got other friendlies moving in this way. So say these guys are in this room, they're coming out while these dudes are taking this room. And there's a dude in the hallway standing right here. Well, guess what? The guys in here see him, they're going to start shooting. The guys right here see him, they're going to start shooting. And now we've got a blue on blue scenario where our crossfire uh, trying to kill this one bad guy is shooting in both directions. So that is a situation that we do not want to have happen. So the rule of thumb uh, when clearing a structure like this, if you're moving perpendicular to the stack, right? So the main stack or train, whatever you want to call it, is moving in this direction. So they're going west. We don't want to be clearing west here and also clearing west here, right? Because we're parallel, right? Parallel lines. Those are no good because if there's some, someone in between us, we're going to be shooting at each other. So the rule of thumb is that you're going to want to go two rooms perpendicular, right? So this is here. We're wanting to clear this way. So this is parallel. This way is perpendicular, 90 degree angle. So if the main train is moving this way, we only want to move two rooms up and then we want to hold, right? So as we move our two rooms up, the main train would be coming this way. We drop some people in here. This is one room. This is a second room. And then these guys are going to stop here. They're not going to continue any further. Even though they've got this door right here that they want to breach, uh, because it opens to this side and we know that the main train is moving this way, we're not going to breach this. We're going to stop here and we're going to signal under the door, whether that be a flashlight or over the radio, however your team is communicating. You're going to stop right here and you're not going to press forward anymore because the main train is coming this way. They're going to put bodies in here, right? So they're going to take one room, two rooms, north, right? West, north. We're going to go perpendicular two rooms and then we're going to hold so once they clear out this room they're going to stop they're just going to hold right here they're not going to continue to press this direction right because the whole stack is going this direction we don't want to be clear in parallel with them we want to be stopped right here after we get our two rooms because then next these guys are coming in right so they're going to clear here and clear here but here you can see the train terminates so the train can't go west anymore now the main train is moving north so as the main train moves north, these guys, they're not going to want to be clearing parallel to the north, right? That makes sense. They're going to hold here. And as this main train moves through, they're going to clear these rooms, clear these rooms. But then they're going to take this and start to continue to the north. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, the main thing that we're worried about is having a crossfire situation where we've got teammates in here, teammates in here, and we're shooting across the hall at each other. So that's why it's very important that we don't clear in a parallel path. That's a no-go. We don't want to do that. Uh, we always want to 
be worried about that L-shaped, right? We always want to have an L-shape where our fire is intersecting, right? But there's no chance that we're going to hit each other. If we're both going parallel, that's a bad day because our fire could be going either direction. So again, the main principle here is if the main train is coming this way, if they're going to the west, we're not going to clear to the west. We're only going to clear to the north. We're going to go two rooms and then we're going to signal that we've stopped here. That way, as the main train continues to dump bodies off into this way, uh, we can communicate with them so that we're not shooting at each other. So this isn't something that is going to happen all the time. Um, so don't think like, oh, I'm only allowed to clear two rooms over and then I have to stop. If the rest of this structure continues to go, you can go as far as you want in this direction, right? You might need more bodies because if you only had two that come in here to each one, if the structure continues this way, you're free to go as far as you want that direction. Uh, we just don't want to go parallel to each other. That's the only problem. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, this will be a pretty quick clear, but hopefully that makes sense with a little talk through here at the beginning. And now we'll actually work it through with our assaulters. So door handle here, uh, as we just prepare on how we want to make entry here, we're still going to practice all of our typical uh, CQB techniques. So in this instance, um, we're going to already be inside of a structure. This is just kind of how, how we have to have it set up like this. So we're always going to want to breach from this door handle side. And then we're going to get the rest of the stack stacked up on the other side. And this should be good. So he's going to cover that door on his way across. We're going to get our number one man set up here with his muzzle up. So that way when this door gets kicked, we're going to be able to see into the structure. So we'll kick the door. Boom. Perfect. They're here. All right, so they know that we're here. That's fine. So we've cleared straight ahead. Uh, this is a center fed door, uh, but there's not really any room on either side for us to go through. So we are going to go ahead and send this whole stack in here. So number one man, he's, he can go to either side that he wants. He can come to the left or to the right. There's no right or wrong answer. Um, the only thing that you can do wrong is if you are the number two man and you go in the same direction as him. So as number one goes to the left, number two will go to the right. And then we're just going to flow every other left, right, left, right. So left and right, left and right, left and right, left, right, left, and we'll bring him in last. Super smooth. And he comes in last. All right. So now we've got a doorway straight ahead. We've got a doorway just offset to the left. And then we've got our dead space over here. So we're going to, there's a few few options on what we want to do here. Uh, this is where uh, the number one men and the number two men are going to have to drive this stack. So if someone sees this problem directly ahead, they already know if you're a number two man here, you already know that there's three threat areas here, right? So how many bodies do we probably want to have coming across this at the same time? I would say the answer is three. So it's the number two guy's responsibility here to recognize that and be like, you know what? I want to make a heavy head here. As that happens, everyone just needs to fill in. Be like, oh, okay. Well, it looks like we're going three, three wide instead. Cool. We'll just everyone fill in there. Holding. All right. So... We'll slowly start to bring everyone up. These guys that are furthest away from this piece of cover are going to have the best angle this direction. As you can see from their lines, if I have everyone look in the same direction, purple here can only see about to there. Yellow here, he can see about to here. Pink is going to be able to see past that. So we'll start to move everybody up which is very annoying to do in the game because you can't just like, you know, walk like you would in real life as your partners move up. But that's all right. We're doing this for training. So again, we'll continue to pie as much of this as we can without exposing ourselves. Move everybody up. 
Okay, so get him up here so he can take the shot. All right, so now it's time to take this hallway. So what I would like to do is I'm going to take this whole stack and they're going to come into this hallway. This whole stack is going to take this door and this whole stack is going to take this door. So simultaneously, we will pull these guys up into the hall. These guys will pick up on this door. And these guys will pick up on this door. All right, now we can have him kick and him kick. All right, so we'll take these guys in first. They've cleared straight ahead just by coming in the door. So we're going to have number one man run the rabbit. He's going to come into the known while looking at the unknown. And then we'll collapse down. Number two will go straight into the unknown. Number three will come in between. And that's why. You see how we had those two muzzles in that corner immediately? So that room is going to be cleared. And it's kind of difficult to do this. Um because it's just me controlling everyone here. It's hard to have everyone move at the same time while I'm explaining what's going on in each room. But like we said before, the main train is moving in this direction. So you have to stop and think about how many people you have with you this whole at all these times, right? So number one and number two, or these two, number one mans rather, they're just worried about having their muzzles pointed this direction. They've got a door here that they know they got to cover on, Another door down here, the rest of the hall is clear, right? So he's kind of looking here. He's looking here. But these two guys need to communicate on how much manpower they have. As soon as you have enough manpower to continue to move, go ahead and continue to move. Um, the only reason that I'm kind of pausing here along the way is because it's hard for me to control all these guys and all these guys and all these guys moving simultaneously. But... These guys have enough to take this next room, right? They don't know what's on the other side, but they know that there's a door here. They know that they have three people plus someone holding long. So they have enough to take this next room. So these guys are going to press across. He will push across at the same time, giving him cover with his plates, right? He's going to be our breacher. And then he can stack up here. So we'd like to cover his plates while we go across the door. We'll go ahead and have him continue to hold long. We'll get him pressed up. And now this guy can kick that door. All right. So as that's happening, right, these guys took out this first guy. So they're going to flow into this room. They're going to flow into this room like so. They've got another door that they need to worry about. Meanwhile, these guys have already cleared out their room. So they're going to beat feet and join the main train over here. Right. They don't have anything else to do in that room. They want to get back with the holding, main train. Holding. These guys will go ahead and get ready to take this room. Holding. So he's going to kick that door. And hopefully he's going to shoot him eventually. Holding. All right. Thankfully, he finally decided to shoot him. So now these guys will take this room. So this room is cleared. So again, this is what we were talking about where... The main train is moving this direction. So we do not want to clear parallel with them. So this guy, Nestor, um, or whichever guy got hurt, Draco. <laughs> we'll have Draco hold this room, right? So we'll get Draco into this room. The rest of these guys can get out, right? They know that they're not going anywhere else. So we're going to have Draco hold on this room just because he's about to die. But he's just going to signal under the door frame however it is that you guys your, and your team decides to do that he's going to hold on this door because we do not want to clear parallel with the main train right so now we've got a bunch of bodies here ready to make entry so we'll send number one to here number two to here and start getting some some bodies flowing in here all right and we can have as many of these guys as we need. All right, so we've got our one door right here that we're worried about. We've also got a T intersection with another door here. 
So what we'd like to do is get one guy on each side looking in opposite directions, right? So that they can clear. Are you, are you gonna shoot him? Maybe not. Thank you for finally shooting him. So we want to take this T intersection and then we've also got this door here, right? So again, he is signaling under this door that there's friendlies on the other side there. We've got the T intersection and we want to take these open spaces before we worry about any closed spaces. So we're going to go ahead and button hook. So he will button hook, he will button hook. This guy is going to hold on this door. And we'll get more bodies in here as we need them. But now these guys have met up. They've flashed their sh flashlights at each other under the door frame so they know that they're cleared here. So Nolan can turn around and hold on this door. And he no longer needs to be here, right? So now we can get these guys ready to enter this door. Before we do that, these guys know now that they have enough bodies to take care of this problem, right? They've got two guys going into this room, two guys coming into this room, and he's holding long. So... Again, the number two man down here, he needs to drive the train and continue the train moving this direction. These guys aren't going to proceed any farther this way. They're just going to clear these two rooms, right? One, two. So two rooms perpendicular. And then they'll be able to con they'll be able to rejoin the train out here. So we'll get the train going out here. Get these guys moving along. They don't need any more help in these rooms. Holding. All right, so we're gonna have him kick the door. Looks like he's getting shot at through the door, which is not good. Oh, he's getting shot at from this guy in here. So we'll quickly shoot him. That's one thing that we do need to be careful about. Again, in the real world, we'd be able to take these rooms simultaneously. It's kind of hard for me to manage all these dudes at the same time. Um, so. I am going to swap these guys out just because they're about to die. So they can rejoin out in the hallway. These guys will hold on these doors. He's going to kick that. And now they will make entry. Again, move into the known while looking at the unknown and coming into the unknown. All right, that room's cleared. Again, the main stack could have already been doing work over here. So we'll have him come around, watching this door. And he will be our breacher. We'll get him set up. Move these guys up a little bit. Get them ready to come in. Pick the door. Holding. All right, so again, all right, this guy, we'll just have him suck down here. Uh, but he's not going to clear any more this direction, right? He doesn't want to move parallel with the train. We've cleared our two rooms perpendicular. So now these guys can get back out. Okay. We're going to go ahead and... Does anyone have a flashbang? You've got a flashbang. We'll get a flashbang in here. Because uh, we've got a T intersection. Um, we've got the T intersection here, but then we've also got a place straight ahead. So... Again, there's no real right or wrong way on how these guys will take this. If number one man comes here, um, then number two needs to come here, and number three needs to come here. Or if number one decides to bypass that altogether and go straight to here, we just need to make sure that the next few guys pick up on these doors. So I'm going to have number one man pin on this door. I'm going to have number two man pin on this door. And number three pin on this area. Okay. Okay. So, again, we'd have all these guys flowing in together. Get these guys some help on their doors. Holding. So now that we have enough bodies here, we're going to push straight across. Look into the unknown while running towards the known. Number two is going to take the unknown. And then my third guy here is going to pick up on this door. All right, so we cleared that out perfectly. This is good to go. They can start to move in this direction now. Um, and again, we've got guys here. So you just need two guys to take a room. We'll kick that. That room's going to be cleared. We'll pop him up. 
Kick this door. That room's pretty much going to be cleared. We'll clear out just a little bit to make sure. But now this guy has a door here. Pilgrim here can be shining his flashlight or communicating however you guys and your team's SOPs dictate under this door that, hey, we're, we're on the other side of that door. So these guys could kick that door open. And that's why we didn't want to continue pushing this direction. Uh, because if we open this door while these guys were all coming in this direction, that would be a nightmare. So we'll get everyone stacked back up and ready to make entry up here. Uh, we got more bodies than we know what to do with, really. So that's fine. Uh, we're going to push him to here. Pilgrim can come up and become our breacher. So Pilgrim will breach. He's looking in. We'll do a center check. And we'll make entry. So I'm going to push into the majority of the known uh, while he takes the unknown. And now we've got two more rooms here. So we'll pick up on these doors. And we just need a couple more bodies in here to do our breaching. I'm ready to kick that door. We'll get ready to kick this door. And that will finish out the mission. So hopefully that made sense to all of you guys. Um, again, the big deal here is that we want to not be clearing parallel to each other uh, just because of the crossfire. So we'll go ahead and play this back, uh, get a little cinematic view, bird's eye view of everything that's going on. So again, we'll breach with our point man in position to take a shot and then we'll get our crews into the building flowing in left right left right until we filled in all the spots again here we were talking about how it's the number two men's responsibility if you think that you guys need three a giant heavy head to take this hallway then get three people out there uh, no problem so again we're taking that first stack and we're pushing them to go long and then each one of these other stacks is taking these rooms so once you have enough people, continue to move forward. Um, again, these guys are no longer needed in here, so they can join the main train. These guys are going to take two rooms north. Uh, so this is one room and a second room. Once they've done that, they can rejoin the train. And again, as soon as the train has enough bodies, they can start to move move on. So right here, they, they probably have enough bodies to get going. Uh, so they could continue on if they wanted to. So here... We want to sort out this T-intersection with the doors on each side. So we have to work on getting one man up so that they can button hook together. So now these guys can button hook and plug up on that door. They'll communicate. He's no longer needed here and he can continue on. Again, try and take these rooms simultaneously, uh, but we're just trying to get the big picture of not clear and parallel to each other. So again, these guys, they take one room, two rooms north, and then they'll hold coverage here. These guys can hop out and join the main main Watch train. Out. Now these guys will cover up on these doors while we get enough bodies ready to take this open space, which takes the priority over the closed doors. We get these guys to clear out these two rooms, and now these will these guys will communicate with each other that they can see each other. And now we haven't had any fratricide or friendly fire on us. So again, we'll get the last two guys up into the room. And they will they will kill those last two. Uh, but that's going to finish out that mission. So again, main takeaway here is don't clear parallel to each other. You can clear perpendicular as far as you want. Just don't end up in a situation where you're going to be shooting at each other. Um, because you're running in the same direction. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you learned something. Um, if you did, drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, if you absolutely hated this and think it's a waste of time, uh, go ahead and comment that too. And that helps me know what kind of videos you guys are actually interested in me making. Um, so I appreciate you guys sticking around for this one. Um, and we'll see you in the next one.